Hello YouTube, it's Mac and I'm back and welcome back to my channel for those that are already a part of my YouTube family and for those that just may be stopping by, I ask you to sit a while, hit like and subscribe and maybe I can say something or will say something that will be beneficial to you. Anyway, I want to give some updates about my last week. I had a whole lot of first so well i say first and a lot of returns but anyway we buried um my great aunt last week which i don't like to do a lot of mourning about things it hurt you know because you miss people but anyway i counted a joy you know to celebrate the lives um that people lived and then it just inspired me to to live my best life because you know life is short and so i want to live on purpose um so being that it was a funeral, I had some family members to travel across the country to come be with family. And um, we had a little conflict about some things, but I believe that all things work together for the good of those that are in Christ Jesus. I really believe that. So um, I believe that the ones that needed to be there were there and the time that we spent together was needed to be spent together. And who wasn't there may not have been meant to be there. So I was able to spend time with family members that I had not seen um, since my mother's death, which was in 2017. And um, that was a blessing within itself. And then I did, um, got checked off some things off of my goal list, and that was to join the gym and I did join the gym and I actually went and worked out and then I had joined another gym that has this um has the sauna and um I've been doing that and then yesterday I did two things I went back to church I haven't been to church but once since 2020 and um I went to the track yesterday and then returned back to the sauna so I had a lot of firsts that you know, I'm kind of satisfied with, you know, I'm, I'm kind of satisfied with those first got some things off of my list that I have been intending to do, but procrastinated and I'm a procrastinator, especially if it's something that I really don't want to do. But, um, so let's get back to, um, yesterday about the church and in my previous videos, you know, um, I was saying how I knew the Lord was telling me to get back to those first things first, those foundational things, foundational things in my faith. Um, and due to COVID, I have not been able to participate in church like I normally had, but I have a confession. And um, sometimes you can't confess unless you know something that's in your heart. And when you spend time with the Lord and you genuinely spend time and in, 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 in the word and in prayer and you allow him to deal with you about some things, he's going to show you some things. And um, I can't say that, you know, COVID was the only reason why I hadn't... Um, been attending church that's a major reason but a lot of it is that me I'm, i was running from it not necessarily wanting wanting to go or to do what was required of me to do and so um you know i have a sister that's disabled and so it was i guess i was kind of hiding behind the fact that it's not as easy to get care for her and um and it's not that easy to get care for her but I guess I kind of got relaxed in trying to make sure somebody's always there with her because whenever I would go, I would have to rush and come back. And um, that could be kind of frustrating sometimes. And so you're kind of like on a time clock all the time. And so I just got lazy and, and got tired of wanting to push that. And so every time I would get ready to go, something would come up and I just stopped, started just watching it online and I got lazy. And so you know, the convenience of having to be able to do that at home was a plus for me. And so anyway, um, just some heart revealing things about myself, um, procrastinating about church, not really wanting to go, not wanting to do the ministry, um, would like to go and just go and be able to go home. But there are some things that I know, some, some charge or mandates that are upon my life to fulfill the ministry of the Lord. And that was one of the things that it was like, you need to go back to church. You need to get back in position. You need to humble yourself. Um, 
because all these things that you're doing with your business, all those things are good, but don't forget the foundation. Don't forget the first things first. Return and do your first works all over again. And um, I humbled myself and I did that. And so anyway, I did that on yesterday. And then on Saturday, man, I wrestled and wrestled and wrestled with something after I got out of prayer the Lord wanted me, it was like, you know, he wanted me to share something on Facebook, man. And I hesitated because I'm like, God, I don't want to regulate people's faith. I don't want to be like all these other people that have a word and they're sharing. And maybe they do, but I didn't want to just seem like I need that type of attention because I don't, you know, that to get on Facebook and share. Because these days, everybody got a word. Everybody got something to share. Um, everybody got a revelation. Um, and I'm having enough time trying to regulate myself. I'm having an, uh, uh, enough, um, it's taking enough time for me to get a revelation about lining myself up. And so anyway, I fleeced and I walked my floor and I walked my floor and I walked my floor. And I'm like, God, are you sure? And he kept confirming it time and time again. And I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead. Let me do this live. And I did the live. And it was confirmation from so many people that it was a word that they needed. And I'm glad that I was obedient for that. I think it was about 20 minutes. I don't know if I made any sense at all. Like, I don't know if I'm making sense now, but this is out of obedience. So um, I did that. I did that. Um, I got inboxes. I got um, phone calls. I got text messages, um, messages. And it was like, that was a word that was for them. And I'm like, God, I thank God I was obedient. And then today I had to confront something. I had I shared on, on that Facebook live that I wasn't here to regulate. I was here to edify and to build people up that I wasn't here to um, correct people or rebuke people. That wasn't my calling. And how about today? Well, he's been showing me for a while. It was an individual that, um, that, um, you know, loves the Lord and I believe is called to ministry, but they are not submitting themselves under someone or it doesn't appear to be. And so, which is not my business, but I know that, um, he was like, you know, when you have individuals who won't submit themselves or humble themselves under some type of authority that can lead and guide them, that can correct them and support them, then they're kind of like renegades. And it was like, they'll go out and people come up under them and the Norton flows from the head down. And if that, whatever is going on in them is not healed and is not whole, then that's going to transfer into the people that they're delivering their message to that may not be a healthy way of doing things. And it like it brings a reproach. And I'm nobody's pastor. So it's like, meh, I don't know if I need to be doing that. But anyway, um, he was like, you know, how individuals are able to go and do things like that. And people follow them because the people that he calls, they won't answer and they won't go. And that gutted me because that would be me. That would be me. And I'm like, oh, my God. So the individual, he had given me a word. And every time I would try to give this individual word, we could not connect. Um, it was like um, something would happen in the midst of me trying trying to share what the Lord had given me for the individual. And um, to this morning, I was like, okay, it was riding on me heavy. And I said, you know what? I've reached out on several occasions. They have not responded or they have not been available. If that's what you, I mean, I'm leaving it alone. I'm taking my hands off of it. And I said, may not be the time, may not be a season. Uh, one particular time when I got ready to share, they kept interrupting me. And the Holy Spirit said, mm -mm, they're not ready. They're not ready. And so um, just so happened today, the individual, I mean, literally just walked in my office and had a seat. And I was sitting there like, and the Lord was like, now is the time. And I had to share. And it wasn't. It was kind of like a rebuke, but any, I, I know that when, when the Lord wants to speak to you, when he wants to speak to me, he comes in a loving way. Sometimes it's funny and sometimes it might jaunt me, but I know that he loves me so I can take that correction. And so anyway, when I shared with the individual, they were like, okay, they received. And I'm thinking I was expecting a rebuttal. I was expect, expecting, um, you know, to be like, who you think you are? You know, who you talking to? But they received it. And I was like, oh my God. Okay. And I was like, you sure? 
And they were like, yeah. So anyway, um, I haven't done a lot of work here today, but I have been obedient as far as doing those first things first that he has placed before me. So again, I returned back to church. I obeyed him in this, um, the, the Facebook live. I've been doing the videos like he told me to do. Um, I spoke to an individual and gave the word of the Lord like he told me to give it to them. Um, and so we just going to continue on this week. Anyway, that's my update and we're going to continue on. I'm expecting such great things. I mean, last week, Every time I turn around, somebody was blessing me. Somebody wanted to take me to lunch. Somebody was bringing me something that, that in my heart I wanted. So, I mean, honestly, it's like you delight yourself in the Lord. He will give you the desires of your heart. And the delight yourself is to be obedient. Okay, phone ring. Bye.